Mr. Ballen back here again. It's 24 hours uh, after I started the experiment that I started during the Google Meet on Wednesday. So our question was, which level of saltiness dissolves gummy bears the most? So I put a one gram gummy bear in 30 milliliters of water. Um, and one, this one had just the water, so there's zero salt in there. We can see the gummy bear swoll has all swollen up again. This one had the one gram of salt. Here's my salt container that I used. Um, two grams of salt in that one, and three grams of salt in that one. I want you to see the difference between the zero and the three. The zero salt gummy bear looks enormous again, and the one with uh, three grams of salt. I don't see so much salt on the bottom necessarily, but it does look like the gummy bear has some salt stuck to it, and it looks like it did not actually dissolve. So um, the one variable I was going to that I did change is the salt, and the variable that I'm going to measure is the weight. But I'm curious now to see if maybe the reason the weight, uh, if maybe some of the salt went into the gummy bear. Here's the zero grams of salt on the gummy bear and it's almost as tall as the level of the water. One gram of salt in this one, not quite as swollen up. Two grams of salt and again not very swollen up. And the three grams of salt and that one looks like it is the smallest and the salt is not really visible, maybe some on the gummy bear, um, but the salt seems to have dissolved from being a solid into a liquid inside the amount of water. If we look at the level of the of the liquid in there, um, they do still look pretty level, pretty even. Um, but let's find out what what uh, these things weigh. So I'm not going to measure the liquid this time around. I'm just going to measure the gummy bear's weight. I should probably turn on the scale so it's ready to go. Get out as much of the liquid water as I can, and then see what the gummy bear weighs. The gummy bear is coming in at 11 grams. So red gummy bear with zero salt is 11 grams. That's the heaviest one I've had so far. I don't think we had one any, any heavier than that last time around. Ah, oh, what a mess. It doesn't dissolve, but it does make the gummy bear uh, want to fall apart. And I don't know where my towel went that I was using. There it is next to my computer. Sorry about that. Um, get that wiped off so we're ooh, back to zero. Lots of gummy bear parts. This is just an old t-shirt. It actually isn't a towel. It's not really absorbing very well. I am back to zero. So we'll do one. the one gram. That one, the water came out a lot more water. Wow, slippery little guy. And he is five grams whoops I wrote that in the wrong spot that last one I missed up the line the one gram is one gram of salt five gram gummy bear make sure I'm back to zero that one had much less liquid on it back to zero all right I'm trying to go quickly here so you guys don't have to sit through too much of this and if you want to fast forward to the end you can you know how I'm doing. Ooh, except that gummy bear looks like it's kind of whitened a little bit. It looks like it's been bleached out. Um, it is four grams. So it didn't get smaller. It didn't dissolve. Uh, dissolve, remember, again, would have been the gummy bear turning from a solid into a liquid. And instead, again, even with the salt in there, um, it gained in weight. That was the two grams of salt. This one has three grams of salt. And I am back to zero, even though it's not dry. Let's make sure it's dry. Get it back to zero. And it's coming in at only three grams. Wow. So I am not getting uh, disintegrated gummy bears. They are still increasing in size, uh, or in weight, I should say. Um, increasing in weight, that's the variable that I'm weighing, that I'm uh, measuring is their weight. Um, and so 
uh, at least for the red gummy bears, we went from 11 grams in the zero salt all the way down to only three gram gummy bear in a lot of salt. Let's try the yellow ones because scientists love to um, have reliable results and reliable results means we can repeat the same test and get the same results. Same test, same results. So let's see if this guy weighs in at close to 11. He's actually the yellow one just like in the last time, the yellow one comes in heaviest. It is 13 grams. Absorbs the yellow for some reason absorbs even more of the liquid water than than the red ones do. See if I can uh, scoop them up and again, so um, uh, so uh, full of water that it it dissolve. It isn't dissolved in falling apart yet but it's very close to that as soon as I touch it it wants to fall apart or does fall apart doesn't want to it doesn't have feelings all right let's try the one one gram of salt and make sure I got all the liquid and we're zeroed out on the scale and just like last time uh, the one gram one gram of salt in the water comes in at a five gram gummy bear and I'm sorry I'm not showing you the scale, guys. Um, let's just get this done quickly here. Two grams of salt. Got two grams of salt in this container. And it says zero, but I don't like it when it's wet. Get that water from the other one off of there. And it comes in at, ooh, this one's only three grams. So... That's interesting because last time it took all the way until I got to the to the um, the saltiest one to go down to three grams. I wonder what the saltiest one on the yellow is going to be. I wrote down my results. Remember the science process is following everything exactly the same. Writing down our results. Whoa, no, don't fall off. Slippery guy. Um, and he's only two grams. So 24 hours later, we've got, <clears throat> quickly do this, show you guys. I've got my data table for the question, which level of saltiness dissolves gummy bears the most? Again, my answer is going to have to be it doesn't dissolve them at all. Um, and the more, it looks like on both of these, three grams of salt, three grams of salt, they absorbed less. So I was asking the wrong question. It looks like I should have been asking um, which level of saltiness will allow the gummy bear to absorb water. The salt seems to have stopped uh, the gummy bears from absorbing the water and growing larger. Interesting results.